I've just been... Family Affair was a popular American sitcom that aired on CBS from 1966 to 1971. The show followed the life of a well-off engineer and bachelor, Bill Davis, played by Brian Keith, who becomes the guardian of his brother's orphan children. The series explores Davis's struggles to raise his 15-year-old niece, Catherine Kathy Davis, and five-year-old twins, Jody and Buffy, in his luxurious New York apartment. Assisting Davis in his new role as a father figure is his traditional English gentleman's gentleman, Mr. French, portrayed by Sebastian Cabot. Throughout the series, Davis and Mr. French must navigate the challenges of raising three young children while maintaining their sophisticated lifestyle. Family Affair aired for five seasons and 138 episodes, produced by Don Federson, who also produced My Three Sons. The show became a beloved classic, capturing the hearts of audiences with its warm humor and relatable characters. But the responsible parent can't always do the comfortable thing. Mm, beginning to find Betty Lynn, best known for her role as Thelma Lou on The Andy Griffith Show, made four appearances on Family Affair as Bill's secretary. This classic TV series, which aired from 1966 to 1971, featured a number of notable guest stars beyond Betty Lynn. Jackie Coogan, an early child star who appeared in Charlie Chaplin's The Kid, played a role on Family Affair. Jamie Farr, who would later become well known for his role as Klinger on MASH, appeared as a hippie on the show. Clint Howard, Ron Howard's brother, and a familiar face from The Andy Griffith Show, also made an appearance. In addition to these guest stars, Family Affair featured June Lockhart, who had previously starred on the TV series Lassie and Lost in Space. Eve Plum, who played a terminally ill girl on the show, would later become a household name as Jan Brady on The Brady Bunch. Robert Reed, who played the dad on The Brady Bunch, appeared on Family Affair as a professor. These guest stars added to the appeal of Family Affair, which followed the lives of a bachelor and his brother's family after they move in with him. The show's warm and gentle humor, as well as its exploration of family dynamics, made it a beloved part of 1960s television. <laughs> Dunbar, my the international adaptations of Family Affair saw some changes to better fit cultural norms. For instance, in the French version, the butler's name was changed to Mr. Felix, instead of the original Giles. The children's names were also adapted to more conventional names for the area. One interesting fact about this classic is the popularity of Buffy's doll, Miss Beasley, marketed by Mattel. The doll became a hit among young audiences. Initially, Miss Beasley did not wear glasses but they were added in subsequent episodes, reflecting the character's appearance in the show. The addition of glasses to the Miss Beasley doll is a small yet significant detail that shows the attention to detail in the show's production. It also highlights the impact of popular culture on toy manufacturing, as the doll's design was modified to match the character's appearance. In the end, Family Affair and its international adaptations offer a fascinating look into the cultural norms and popular trends of the time. From the name changes in the French version to the Miss Beasley doll, these details add depth and interest to this classic show. <laughs> in the 1966 TV series Family Affair, Sebastian Cabot, who played the role of Mr. French, faced significant health challenges that affected his filming schedule. He was unable to participate in nine episodes due to his illnesses. As a result, the character of Niles, portrayed as a relative of Mr. French, was introduced to fill in for him during his absence. Meanwhile, Brian Keith, who played the character of Bill Davis, had a unique filming arrangement. He worked in 30-day blocks, completing all his scenes within that period. Afterward, the rest of the cast would film their scenes around his completed shots, enabling him to take on other projects. This scheduling flexibility allowed Keith to balance his commitments to family affair with his other acting opportunities. Despite the challenges faced by the cast members, Family Affair remained a popular and enduring TV series, captivating audiences with its heartwarming stories and memorable characters. The show's legacy continues to resonate with viewers today, thanks in part to the dedication and talent of its cast and crew. In the 1966 TV series Family Affair, Kathy Garver, who played the role of Sissy, was already 20 years old when she began acting in the show. To make her appear younger, various measures were taken, such as styling her hair in a particular way and dressing her in age-appropriate clothing. 
Despite these efforts, Garber's maturity and poise were still evident in her portrayal of the character, which added depth and authenticity to her performance. On the other hand, Anissa Jones, who played Buffy, was only eight years old when she started acting in Family Affair. Her youth and innocence were crucial to the role, and the producers took great care to preserve her image. In fact, when Anissa was considered for the role in The Exorcist, the producers decided not to pursue it because they felt she was too cute and adorable to play a horror movie character. During the filming of Family Affair, efforts were made to conceal Anissa's aging process. For instance, she was often wrapped in bandages or clothing to hide her developing body. In one episode, she wore a cast on her leg, which was actually a result of a real-life injury she sustained while playing. The writers incorporated this into the show, making it part of the storyline. Despite these efforts to maintain Anissa's youthful appearance, her aging was inevitable. As she grew older, the producers had to find ways to keep her looking young and fresh. However, Anissa's natural charm and charisma shone through, making her a beloved character in the show. In conclusion, the casting of Kathy Garver and Anissa Jones in Family Affair was a crucial factor in the show's success. Their youthful energy and talent brought the characters of Sissy and Buffy to life, creating a memorable and enduring TV series that continues to captivate audiences to this day. Mr. French, would it be all right if I wait for Mrs. B? After Family Affair ended in 1971, Anissa Jones, who played the beloved character Buffy, struggled with the pressures of growing up in the limelight. The young actress found it challenging to transition from the structured environment of a TV show to the unpredictability of real life. Jones's struggles led her to experiment with illegal substances, which further complicated her life. Her addiction to drugs took a toll on her physical and mental health, causing her to drop out of high school. Despite her family's efforts to help her, Jones could not break free from the grip of addiction. Sadly, Anissa Jones's life was cut short when she died of a drug overdose at the young age of 18. Her tragic end was a shock to her fans and the entertainment industry, which had high hopes for the talented young actress. Jones's story is a sad reminder of the pressures that child stars face when they grow up in the public eye. While Family Affair brought her fame and fortune, it also contributed to her downfall. Her tragic end serves as a cautionary tale for young actors and their families, highlighting the importance of providing a supportive and nurturing environment for them to grow and thrive. Sure, that was beautiful. Jody's got a sailboat, so they probably stayed late in the park. They ought to be home by now, though. Johnny Whittaker, the young actor who won hearts as Jody Davis in the popular 1966 TV series Family Affair, faced significant challenges in his life after the show ended. Much like his on-screen sister, Johnny struggled with substance abuse, which led to a downward spiral affecting both his acting career and finances. Born on December 13, 1959, Whitaker's acting career began at the tender age of five when he appeared in a commercial for a breakfast cereal. His natural talent and charisma quickly caught the attention of industry professionals, leading to his breakthrough role in Family Affair just a few years later. However, the fame and fortune that came with this success proved to be a double-edged sword for the young star. After the series ended in 1971, Whitaker continued to act in various TV shows and movies. Unfortunately, his substance abuse issues began to take a toll on his career, leading to a decline in the quality of his work and a series of missed opportunities. As his addiction deepened, so did the impact on his finances, leaving him in a precarious financial situation. Despite these challenges, Whitaker eventually managed to turn his life around. He sought help for his addiction and began the long, difficult process of rebuilding his career and finances. Today, he is a counselor at the Tarzana Treatment Center in California, where he uses his own experiences to help others struggling with addiction. Whitaker's story is a reminder that even those who seem to have it all can face significant challenges in their lives. His resilience and determination to overcome his addiction serve as an inspiration to all who have struggled with similar issues. My feet up, sir. Dinner is served. Brian Keith, one of the child actors from the popular 1960s TV series Family Affair, faced significant challenges in his later life. Despite quitting smoking 10 years earlier, he was diagnosed with emphysema and lung cancer. His health struggles were compounded by financial issues and the recent suicide of his daughter, Daisy. In his Malibu home, Brian Keith was found dead from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. He left behind a note indicating his wish to join his daughter. 
The tragic circumstances of his death suggest that depression may have played a role. The TV series Family Affair followed the daily lives of a bachelor and his nieces and nephew, with Keith playing one of the young children. The show was a hit during its time, but the struggles Keith faced in his later life serve as a reminder of the challenges that can arise, even for those who have found success in their careers. The news of Keith's death was a shock to many, and it serves as a reminder of the importance of seeking help and support during difficult times. The impact of his death is still felt by those who knew and worked with him, and his contributions to the world of television will not be forgotten. As we reflect on Brian Keith's life and career, we are reminded of the ups and downs that can come with fame and success. Despite the challenges he faced, Keith will always be remembered for his role on Family Affair and the joy he brought to audiences around the world. Excuse us, Uncle Bill. We have to go do our project. Kathy Garver, the actress who played the role of Sissy in the popular 1960s TV series Family Affair, has led a relatively normal life since the show ended. However, she has had to cope with the deaths of her co-stars, including Sebastian Cava, who played the role of Mr. French. Cavett's death in August 1977, at the age of 59, was a significant loss for the Family Affair cast and crew. He died due to a fatal stroke after enduring ill health. His passing was a shock to many, as he had been a prominent figure in the entertainment industry for several decades. Garver, who was only a teenager when she started working on Family Affair, has fond memories of her time on the show. She has spoken about how much she learned from her co-stars, including Cava, who she described as a wonderful actor and a lovely man. Despite the challenges that come with being a child actor, Garver has managed to maintain a successful career in the entertainment industry. She has appeared in numerous TV shows, movies, and stage productions over the years. Cavett's death was no doubt a difficult moment for Garver and the rest of the Family Affair cast and crew. However, the show's legacy lives on, and it remains a beloved classic among fans of 1960s television. The memories of working on the show and the relationships formed during that time have undoubtedly left a lasting impact on Garver's life. Here you are, mister. <laughs> Just a moment, young man. Nobody here purchased a lamb. The popular 1960s TV series Family Affair made a comeback in 2002, but unfortunately, it didn't last long. The revival aired from September 2002 to March 23, with only 16 episodes, out of which just 14 were aired. The pilot episode received decent ratings, but the subsequent episodes struggled to compete against shows like Survivor and Friends. The original cast members, Johnny Whittaker, who played Jody Davis, and Kathy Garver, who portrayed Sissy Davis, made special appearances in the Christmas special of the revival. The show's premise remained the same, focusing on a bachelor and his nieces and nephew who are cared for by a devoted housekeeper. Despite the efforts to recreate the magic of the original series, the revival failed to capture the audience's attention. The show's inability to compete against other popular programs and the struggle to maintain high ratings ultimately led to its cancellation. Nonetheless, the original Family Affair remains a classic television show that continues to be cherished by many. It's all my doings. <laughs> oh, wasn't anything you did. As the fifth season of Family Affair came to a close, many episodes began with a warm greeting from Sebastian Cabot or the twins, and ended with a heartfelt thank you message to the viewers. The show, which had become a beloved 60s sitcom, evoked a strong sense of nostalgia in its audience, bringing back memories of its memorable characters and catchy theme music. The creator of the show expressed his gratitude to the viewers for joining him on this trip down memory lane. The show's enduring popularity is a testament to its enduring charm and the timeless appeal of its characters and storylines. For those who grew up watching Family Affair, the show holds a special place in their hearts. The twins, Buffy and Jody, and their older brother, Sissy, were like family to millions of viewers, and their adventures and misadventures provided countless hours of entertainment. The show's theme music, with its upbeat tempo and catchy melody, is instantly recognizable to fans of the show. Even today, it's not uncommon to hear someone humming or whistling the tune, bringing back fond memories of this classic sitcom. In the end, Family Affair will always be remembered as a beloved 60s sitcom that brought joy and laughter to millions of viewers. Its characters and theme music will continue to resonate with audiences for generations to come, serving as a reminder of a simpler time in television history. Sir, welcome home, sir. 
Branch, we've been together a long time now, many years. Family Affair is a classic 1966 television show that centers around the life of a successful bachelor, Bill Davis, who suddenly becomes the guardian of his deceased brother's children. The series is set in New York City, where Bill lives in a luxurious penthouse with his valet, Mr. French. The main characters include Bill Davis, played by Brian Keith, who is a charming and wealthy engineer. He is a sophisticated and reserved man who finds himself in a new role as a parent to his brother's three children. The children are Buffy and Jody, who are Bill's niece and nephew, and their older sister, Sissy. Buffy and Jody are adorable and mischievous six-year-old twins, while Sissy is a mature and responsible teenager who takes on the role of a surrogate mother to her younger siblings. Mr. French, portrayed by Sebastian Cabot, is a proper and formal English butler who provides a sense of stability and order in the household. He is a father figure to the children and often serves as a voice of reason in the chaotic world of the Davis family. Family Affair achieved significant milestones during its run, including being nominated for several Emmy Awards and Golden Globes. The show's theme song, Family Affair, performed by Johnny Mathis, became a massive hit and remains popular today. The series is a heartwarming and entertaining portrayal of a non-traditional family that navigates the challenges of life together. It is a classic example of 1960s television and continues to resonate with audiences today. The casting process for the 1966 TV series Family Affair was a careful selection of talents that brought the Harmon family to life. Brian Keith, an experienced actor, was a natural fit for the role of Bill Davis, the wealthy, responsible uncle. Keith's solid background in film and television, including his lead role in the series The Parent Trey, made him a perfect choice for the show's patriarch. Securing the right actors to play Bill's nieces and nephew was crucial. Kathy Garver, who had previously appeared in The Ten Commandments, was cast as the eldest sibling, Sissy. Her maturity and nurturing instincts made her ideal for the role of the responsible teenage sister. For the younger roles, the production team sought children with charm and innocence. Anissa Jones, only nine years old at the time, was chosen to play Buffy, the adorable six-year-old. Her cuteness and engaging personality quickly won over the casting directors. Johnny Whitaker, just six years old, was selected to play Jody, the youngest of the trio. Whitaker's ability to convey vulnerability and sweetness made him the perfect choice for the role. The chemistry between the young actors was evident from the start. During the auditions, Garver, Jones, and Whitaker quickly formed a bond, playing and laughing together. Their natural camaraderie translated well on screen, creating a convincing family dynamic. One pivotal moment in the casting process was the decision to cast Sebastian Cabot as Mr. French, the family's British butler. Cabot's distinguished demeanor and dry wit added depth to the character, and his chemistry with Keith was undeniable. The two actors played off each other brilliantly, creating a dynamic that became the heart of the show. In conclusion, the casting of Family Affair was a careful selection of talented actors who brought warmth, humor, and heart to the show. From the experienced Brian Keith to the adorable Anissa Jones and Johnny Whitaker, each actor contributed to the success of the series, creating a family that continues to resonate with audiences today. <laughs> Let's delve into the creative mind behind the 1966 TV series Family Affair. The director, Lou Wasserman, was a visionary known for his unique approach to storytelling. With a background in film distribution, Wasserman brought a business-savvy mindset to his directorial work. Wasserman's style was characterized by his attention to detail and commitment to authenticity. He believed in creating believable characters and situations, even in a sitcom setting, to achieve this, he worked closely with the cast and crew, fostering a collaborative and creative environment. One of Wasserman's key influences was Italian Neorealism, a film movement that emphasized realistic depictions of everyday life. This influence can be seen in family affairs grounded and relatable characters. Wasserman also drew inspiration from his own experiences, often incorporating personal anecdotes into the show's scripts. In terms of visual style, Wasserman favored a simple, uncluttered aesthetic. He believed that sets and lighting should serve the story, not distract from it. This minimalist approach helped to keep the focus on the characters and their relationships. Collaboration was at the heart of Wasserman's directorial vision. He believed in empowering his cast and crew, encouraging them to contribute their own ideas and insights. This inclusive approach not only fostered a positive working environment, 
but also led to a more dynamic and engaging final product. In conclusion, Lou Wasserman's directorial vision for Family Affair was marked by his commitment to authenticity, attention to detail, and collaborative spirit. His unique approach to storytelling helped to bring the show to life, creating a beloved series that continues to resonate with audiences today. The time, now I just got back from India. Now I want what's right for that little girl, and that does not... Let's journey back to 1966, to the set of the beloved TV series, Family Affair. The show centered around the wealthy bachelor Bill Davis, played by Brian Keith, and his charming niece and nephews Buffy, Jody, and Sissy, living together in a luxurious Park Avenue apartment in New York City. The set design was a crucial element in creating the warm, inviting atmosphere of the Davis household. The spacious apartment, adorned with modern furniture and state-of-the-art appliances, served as the central location for the series. The set was meticulously crafted to reflect the characters' personalities and social status, with a perfect blend of comfort and sophistication. Despite the controlled environment of a soundstage, filming a TV series presented numerous logistical challenges. Coordinating the schedules of the cast and crew, ensuring continuity between scenes, and managing the intricate choreography of camera movements and prop placement were all part of the daily routine. One notable innovation during the production of Family Affair was the use of videotape for editing and post-production. This technology allowed for greater flexibility in the editing process, enabling the creative team to make precise adjustments to the final product. However, the use of videotape also presented its own set of challenges. The equipment was large, cumbersome, and required a dedicated team of technicians to operate. Additionally, the videotape format had limited color reproduction capabilities compared to film, which sometimes resulted in less vibrant visuals. Despite these challenges, Family Affair became a staple of American television, captivating audiences with its heartwarming stories and relatable characters. The show's enduring legacy is a testament to the hard work and dedication of everyone involved in its production. It's exciting. Yeah, I used to do that. I go out in Long Island Sound, but I don't have time for The creation of the musical score and soundtrack for the 1966 TV series Family Affair was a collaborative effort between composer Earl Hagen and musician Jack Hunsicker. The music they crafted perfectly complemented the narrative and emotional tone of the show. Earl Hagen, an experienced composer, had already made a name for himself in the industry. He was known for his ability to create music that subtly yet effectively enhanced the mood of a scene. For Family Affair, Hagen aimed to create a score that reflected the warmth and humor of the show. The show's theme song, composed by Hagen, is a perfect example of this. It's a light, upbeat melody that immediately sets the tone for the series. The use of a harpsichord gives the theme a distinctive sound, making it memorable and catchy. Jack Hunsicker, a talented musician, played a crucial role in bringing Hagen's compositions to life. His expertise in various musical instruments, including the guitar, banjo, and mandolin, allowed him to add depth and richness to the score. The music in Family Affair often serves to underscore the emotional moments of the narrative. For instance, when the characters are experiencing moments of joy or sorrow, the music swells, amplifying the audience's emotional response. In addition to the score, Family Affair also features a soundtrack of popular songs from the 1960s. These songs are often used to punctuate the narrative, providing a sense of time and place. They also serve to highlight the characters' personalities and interests. The music in Family Affair is a testament to the power of music and storytelling. It enhances the narrative, underscoring the characters' emotions and the show's warm, humorous tone. The collaborative effort between Hagen and Hunsicker resulted in a score and soundtrack that have become an indelible part of the show's legacy. Well, now where were we? Well, I was just suggesting dinner on the terrace. One of the most iconic scenes in Family Affair, the 1966 TV series, is the first episode's opening scene, where we see the busy New York City street before panning to the Park Avenue apartment building, where the Davis family resides. The scene is set during the holiday season, with festive decorations adorning the building's exterior. The camera then moves inside the apartment, where we see the three orphan children, Jody, Buffy, and Sissy, sitting around the Christmas tree, looking sad and lost. The camera's slow and deliberate movement creates a sense of anticipation, drawing the audience in, and making them curious about the children's story. The scene's direction is impeccable, 
with the use of soft lighting and gentle music that adds to the emotional impact of the moment. The children's performances are also noteworthy, with Kathy Garber, Johnny Whittaker, and Anissa Jones conveying their characters' sadness and longing for a family with subtle and nuanced expressions. According to Garber, that first scene was so powerful because it showed the children's vulnerability and the audience immediately felt for them. She added, it was a great way to introduce the characters and set the tone for the series. The cinematography is also impressive, with the use of wide-angle shots that capture the spaciousness of the apartment and the children's isolation within it. The camera's movement from the busy city street to the quiet and empty apartment highlights the contrast between the children's previous life and their new one. The impact of this scene on the audience is significant, as it establishes the show's theme of family and belonging. It also sets up the premise of the series, where we see the children's uncle, Bill Davis, played by Brian Keith, taking them in and becoming their guardian. The scene's emotional resonance is still felt today, with many viewers recalling it as one of their favorite moments in the series. As Keith said in an interview, that first scene was a powerful introduction to the show, and it set the stage for the rest of the series. Hush! That'll be quite enough buying for tonight. The 1966 TV series Family Affair gained significant popularity and left a lasting impact on American culture. The show, centered around a bachelor named Bill Davis and his three orphan nieces and nephew, resonated with audiences due to its warm, family-oriented themes and relatable characters. Family Affair was one of the first shows to depict a single, working father raising children, which was a departure from traditional family dynamics on television. The show's portrayal of a non-traditional family structure was groundbreaking and struck a chord with viewers who were experiencing similar changes in their own lives. The show also contributed to discussions on relevant social themes, such as the role of women in society. The character of Buffy, the eldest niece, was portrayed as a strong, independent young woman, which was a positive representation of female empowerment during a time when traditional gender roles were being challenged. Moreover, Family Affair influenced pop culture in various ways. The show's catchy theme song, composed by Frank Devil, became a classic and is still recognized today. The character of Mr. French, the family's proper and formal butler, became an iconic figure and a symbol of loyalty and devotion. In addition, the show's set design and fashion choices were also noteworthy. The sleek, modernist design of Bill Davis's penthouse apartment was a reflection of the times and influenced the aesthetic of other TV shows and films. The show's fashion, particularly the mod styles of the nieces, also had an impact on pop culture and inspired fashion trends. In conclusion, Family Affair was a significant cultural and social force in the 1960s and beyond. Its portrayal of a non-traditional family, its contribution to discussions on relevant social themes, and its influence on pop culture have left an indelible mark on American television and society. Bye, Uncle Bill. The 1966 TV series Family Affair, starring Brian Keith and Sebastian Cabot, received mixed reviews from critics. Some praised the show for its warm and family-friendly atmosphere, while others criticized it for its lack of realism and emotional depth. In a review for the New York Times, critic Jack Gould described Family Affair as a pleasantly old-fashioned comedy about a bachelor uncle and his niece and nephews. He commended Brian Keith's performance, stating that he brings to the role a nice blend of authority, understanding, and humor. However, not all reviews were positive. In a review for the Boston Globe, critic Cecil Smith dismissed the show as a series of gags and situations that are as predictable as the sunrise. He criticized the characters as being one-dimensional and the plots as being unoriginal. Despite the mixed reviews, Family Affair was a hit with audiences. The show was consistently one of the top-rated programs during its run and was nominated for several awards. In 1967, Brian Keith was nominated for an Emmy Award for Outstanding Continued Performance by an Actor in a Leading Role in a Comedy Series. The show was also nominated for a Golden Globe Award for Best Television Series, Musical or Comedy in 1968. The accolades that Family Affair received are a testament to the talent and hard work of the cast and crew. Being nominated for an Emmy and a Golden Globe is a significant achievement and is a reflection of the show's popularity and critical acclaim. These nominations not only helped to boost the careers of the actors involved, but also solidified Family Affair's place in television history. In conclusion, 
While Family Affair received mixed reviews from critics, it was a hit with audiences and was nominated for several prestigious awards. The nominations that the show received are a testament to its popularity and critical acclaim and are a reflection of the talent and hard work of the cast and crew. Uh, Virginia. During the filming of Family Affair, the beloved 1966 TV series, the cast and crew formed a tight-knit group. Brian Keith, who played the leading role of Bill Davis, was known for his pranks on set. He would often play practical jokes, keeping the mood light and the atmosphere fun. The young actors, Anissa Jones and Johnny Whitaker, who played Buffy and Jody Davis, were quite close off screen. They would frequently study together between takes, helping each other with schoolwork. Their strong bond was evident in their on-screen chemistry, contributing to the show's warmth and charm. Sebastian Cabot, who played Mr. French, was a true professional. Despite his formal and disciplined character on the show, he was quite the opposite off-camera. He would often engage in friendly banter with the cast and crew, creating a warm and welcoming environment. The set of Family Affair was a bustling hive of activity. The crew worked tirelessly to ensure each episode ran smoothly, often going above and beyond to accommodate the cast's needs. The set became a second home for many, with lasting friendships formed during the show's five-year run. One particularly memorable moment occurred during the filming of the episode, It's All Relative. A surprise guest, Kathleen Nolan, who played Brian Keith's sister in the episode, brought along her real-life son, Kevin, who was just a toddler at the time. The cast and crew were delighted by his presence, and he quickly became the center of attention, bringing a sense of joy and excitement to the set. In the end, Family Affair was more than just a TV show. It was a family. The cast and crew's camaraderie and shared experiences created a unique and unforgettable production, leaving a lasting impact on the world of television. <laughs> oh, Margot Dunbar. Exactly, sir. Well, well, well. The 1966 TV series Family Affair holds a significant place in television history. This show, which aired for five seasons, introduced the world to the Davis family, a wealthy bachelor and his three orphan nieces and nephews. The series was one of the first to explore the concept of blended families, a theme that would become increasingly common in later years. Family Affair was a trailblazer in its use of humor and warmth to address serious issues. The show tackled topics such as adoption, loss, and the challenges of growing up, all while maintaining a light-hearted tone. This approach proved influential, with many subsequent series adopting a similar style. One of the most enduring aspects of Family Affair is its iconic character, Mr. French, played by Brian Keith. Mr. French, the family's British manservant, was a stern but loving figure who became a father figure to the children. The character has become a cultural touchstone and has been referenced and parodied in numerous other works. Family Affair also had a significant impact on the world of fashion. The show's stylish and well-dressed characters, particularly the three young children, were often imitated by viewers. The show's influence can still be seen today, with many fashion designers citing Family Affair as a source of inspiration. In the years since Family Affair went off the air, the show has continued to inspire and influence future filmmaking. The series has been adapted into a successful stage musical, and there have been numerous attempts to revive the show for modern audiences. While these efforts have yet to come to fruition, the enduring popularity of Family Affair ensures that it will continue to be a beloved and influential part of television history. And? Yeah, who? Are you, sir? Me. Did the 1966 TV series Family Affair leave a lasting impression on you? We'd love to hear about your experiences and memories related to this classic show. Perhaps you watched it with your own family, bonding over the heartwarming stories of the Davis clan. Or maybe you found solace in the show during a difficult time, with its gentle humor and relatable characters providing a much-needed escape. No matter how Family Affair impacted you, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Share your stories with us and let us know how this series influenced your perspective on cinema. And if you enjoyed this trip down memory lane, be sure to like and share this post with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe for more cinematic explorations. Together, let's celebrate the enduring legacy of Family Affair and the memories it has created for generations of viewers. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs>